Good evening. Now, we begin tonight with a controversial video that was posted online by a now former Cardinal Newman student. The video is making the rounds on social media, prompting anger and disbelief from those who've seen it. And tonight, Richland County deputies are investigating. Darcy Strickland joins us now with those details. At least two social videos posted by the Cardinal Newman student are part of the investigation. We spent a lot of time today debating the news value of these videos and if and how we were going to show them to you. Since the student is considered a juvenile under the law, we are not showing his face or even using his voice. We know there are plenty of posts online where you can see and hear him yourself. Many of these posts highlight his name and the prominent local political family that he's related to. Since he is not charged as an adult right now, we will be withholding his name as we would any other minor charge. While we are not showing the student, we think it is very important for everyone to understand the violent nature of these videos. After much debate, we've decided to show you still pictures and some video while relaying the violent content of the post. The first video starts with someone recording the 16-year-old Cardinal Newman student holding a gun. He says his name and follows it up with, I hate black people. They're the worst. They're stinky and they just suck. They're just bad people. He then says, if you notice over there, it's a box of Jordans, the favorite pair of shoes for a black man. I'm going to show you what I think of a black man. He then walks back up to the camera and says a racial slur. The next video is similar. It starts with him holding a gun while saying his name, followed by hater of all black men. He then points to the box and says a racial slur, followed by hasn't quite learned his lesson yet. It seems like he needs 25 rounds to the dome. He then says, I don't think that was enough, and picks up a second gun. He ends the video by saying, thank you for watching my PSA. It ends with the same racial slur, announcing his hatred of black people. It's important to note, what you just saw is not what led to that student's arrest. He was arrested on July 17th after another video surfaced where he allegedly said he was going to, quote, shoot up the school. Police say he posted that video on social media on May 11th. WLTX has not yet been able to independently verify this video. Darcy, thank you. Concerned parents met with the Cardinal Newman principal this morning to talk about the videos and how they were addressed. News 19's Nick Jones has that part of the story tonight. Pretty disturbed about it, pretty traumatized, and he feels uncomfortable being around, uh, you know, people that, you know, he really doesn't know how they feel. Devlon Porter, a parent of a student at Cardinal Newman and his family, are shocked after watching racist videos from a now former student at the school. He says his son never thought this would be an issue at his school. He's never received any kind of signs of any kind of racism or anything like that, so this is something that comes as a uh, definite shock to him. On Monday, parents say they had a meeting with the principal to talk about their concerns and find more answers. We went in looking for answers and actually found out we were left with more unanswered questions. Uh, why they wouldn't tell us, you know, prior to now, prior to this past weekend, I do not know. In the two-hour meeting, Porter felt the school wasn't being completely transparent. He believes the situation needs to be taken more seriously because of what could have happened to the kids. Any one of these days could have been his last if that student would have came up here and executed his plan. Dylan Roof made the same kind of videos prior to his shooting, said the exact same type of things, and we see what happened there. Why should we sleep on this? Other parents at the school who didn't want to go on camera say they feel Cardinal Newman has handled this situation appropriately. They believe the administration did the right thing by notifying police the day they found out about it and banning the student from the property. Porter still believes Cardinal Newman is a great school, but everyone needs to figure out how to move forward from here. Be transparent in the future so that we can move forward together and solve this issue. Uh, we definitely uh, want you to be more open and not hold secrets from us that can endanger our children's lives. 
in Columbia. Nick Jones, News 19, WLTX. Nick, thank you. While some parents are concerned they weren't contacted sooner, the school's principal says they didn't want to compromise an ongoing investigation, and the school is, quote, still on summer break. He said in the letter sent to parents, if while all these events were unfolding, the school leadership team believed the school community was in danger, we would have immediately communicated that with you. Cardinal Newman High School says it will be holding a town hall meeting on Thursday to answer uh, parents' questions. That meeting will take place at 7 in the school's auditorium. The school says Richland County Sheriff's deputies will also be there to answer questions. And the tape has caught the attention of lawmakers tonight. I caught up with House Minority Leader Todd Rutherford today to get his reaction to all of this. Here's what he had to say. I was stunned. Uh, someone sent it to me when I first looked at it. I couldn't believe it. It reminded me of looking at Dylan Roof's videos. And it's scary to think that that's what we are breeding here in South Carolina. A and B, the fact that he felt so compelled to tell the world that this is how he felt about a particular race of people. And when you put this together with the mass shootings that we just saw across this country, it is really scary of what we have in South Carolina.